All right, that was the governor's press conference earlier this morning. Uh, the governor talked about storm surge in our area, so I wanted to show you what that is. Uh, as a hurricane travels through the ocean, it literally pushes the ocean water out ahead of it. And as it makes landfall, a little pile of water out ahead of it moves in. Look, ocean literally, it's not a wave, it's not a tsunami, it's an increase in ocean levels. So on a typical day, your sea level is right up with your beach. You've got the waves hitting the beach. Now, during a hurricane, the wind, pushes the ocean continuously on shore. With this storm, we're expecting normal sea levels to rise by as little in some places in the Bay Area as three feet. That would make a good portion of the beach disappear. But for most cases, this would cause minor flooding in areas where you typically see storm flooding. Now for sun, that storm surge could extend as high as six, seven or eight feet. Now at that level that could push water farther inland and could cause flooding in some homes, businesses, buildings, whatever is located near the coast. That's what that looks like farther south of the Bay Area. I don't think this is going to be a concern here around Tampa, but especially south of Sarasota, those surges could be higher. And this is what the governor was uh, saying that some places may be inundated by water. By the way, this is just the base sea level. There are waves on top of this. This does not count waves. This is just a rise in sea level as the wind from the storm continuously pushes the ocean back towards land. It almost looks like a river, and this is what people are mostly surprised in during hurricanes. It's not the wind. They didn't understand what storm surge is. The ocean just moves in. It's as if somebody was just pushing it on shore, flowing like a river, flooding everything. And this is what is the big concern, especially south of our area, though to a point in the Bay Area, a three to six foot surge is possible. So here is a map showing the likelihood of storm surge, significant storm surge over three feet along the West Florida coast and notice almost a guarantee down here towards Southwest Florida. Of course, this is the Everglades down towards Everglades City, Naples, Fort Myers, Port Charlotte, even getting up close to Southern Sarasota County. And then again in the Florida Big Bend where you've kind of uh, funneling in here, the uh, Gulf of Mexico, there could be some more significant storm surges there. Closer to the Bay Area, the likelihood in Old Hillsborough Bay and Tampa Bay now increasing for storm surge. You see the red color there, and because of that, the Hurricane Center has issued a storm surge warning all along the coast. That's why it's important. If you live in one of those evacuation zones that was called for many of you, it's zone A and zone B. You've got to get away from the ocean because the ocean is going to be heading towards you during the storm and the surge happens as winds increase. So once you realize that the ocean is headed your way and you're in trouble, emergency crews are not going to be able to get to you. Bridges may be closed and it's just going to be difficult to get around because there'll be hurricane conditions outside. You don't have to go far. You can just go in some cases a couple of miles, four or five miles to a shelter nearby. As long as you get away from that surge zone, which is mainly along the coast and along Bay areas in Hillsborough County here, uh, that's safe enough to get away from that storm. And that's the important message there from the governor, the governor in that uh, press conference. And in Pinellas and Hillsborough County, that's what we're really looking at. We're looking at wind damage and that coastal surge. I think these are low ball numbers, folks. I think we're going to see wind gusts well in excess of 100 miles an hour in Pinellas and Hillsborough County. And the worst of that weather, 8 p.m. Sunday through 8 a.m. on Monday. That's going to be your time to stay inside. We may be watching the turn right now, so we may know the point that uh, Irma is making that turn. It's moving northwest now. Prepare for a major hurricane in the Bay Area. That is our main point today, and it needs to be done by sunset today. Really, you need to be in your safe place. Wherever you go to sleep tonight, that's the place you should be planning on riding out the entire storm. That means the entire day on Sunday and into Monday. Be prepared for power outages, so make sure your phones, external batteries are charged. Make sure your laptop is charged because you can often use the battery in your laptop to charge other devices like your phone. You can use it like an external battery by plugging in your phone to that USB port. That's a good tip, especially since you probably won't have internet access and you'll be able to just use the power off the laptop to charge any devices. We'll continue to watch the storm throughout the day now and into tomorrow. We've got team coverage for you. All our meteorologists are on deck at some point the next 24 hours will be back with you as Irma gets closer towards the Florida coast guys.